Hi, I'm Billy Bob. Welcome to Wildcat Outdoors. Today, like I promised, going back to my soup can stove and get something going on it. Stick around. First, I'm going to get our fire going. I appreciate the wind today, but right now it's, I don't like it. There we go. With a twig stove, you just add twigs, any kind of kindling you can find. Just get it going real good. And just try to keep it going. Trying to keep a little bit of the wind off of the flame so it stays directly under the cup. But we are getting to a bowl. All right, we're at a rolling bowl. Stove worked out, a little bit of wind uh, problem, but besides that, it worked out pretty good. What I did today, just to make sure the stove hunt was fishing, I've done a little cappuccino, just some boiling water, something simple, just trying the stove out. And as you can see, it done just fine. Um, I say the only problems I had with it was the wind and keeping the flame stationary under the cup. Besides that, that was like a good coffee break right there. Glad my little soup can stove worked out for me today. Good cup of coffee. But the other day I was talking to y'all about uh, you know, this pandemic has put a, put a hurting on, on all of us. But uh, not to worry, but uh, you know, come back and uh, say there is there's a way you can you can protect yourself from what's going on in this world and uh i want to talk to you about a little armor for the soul today i'm going to be reading from uh, ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 through 19. um it says uh, finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of god that you may be able to stand against the wills of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against power, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the pre preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, with, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, in which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer, and supplication and the spirit being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints and for me the utterance may be given to me that I'm 
may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. So what we learned here is uh, how to deal with the world. These days you need to be ready. There's a lot of evil going on for sure. I challenge you to put on the full armor of God. I'm gonna, um, and now I'm going to go a little bit more into it about it. It says, uh, it says in the text we just read that the belt equals truth. The evil one tries to spread his lies, but only a believer in the Almighty can defeat those lies. Breastplate equals righteousness. When the evil one attacks our hearts, which is the basis for our emotions, self-worth, and trust, the breastplate is what protects our heart and ensures us the Almighty is with us. Why? Because He loves us and He sent His Son to die for us. The footgear is the readiness to spread good news about the Gospel, which is the good news. The evil one wants us to think that it is a waste of time. It can be hard, it can be hard good news to spread because everyone is not going to be on board. But God gives us the footgear, the motivation, and the want to tell others about the gospel of truth. And that's something everyone needs to hear. Have the shield of faith. When our faith is tested and questioned, the bad things that happen in our lives we have no control over. Those things can make us on the fence about our faith. But we can't lose our faith. We can we have to keep it. Because through the Almighty there is light at the end of the tunnel. Keep pushing and moving forward. You got this. The helmet of salvation is deliverance from the power and effects of sin. When you have your doubts, always know that we are that we have our salvation through the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. The sword, which is the most important piece out of all the six pieces of armor. The sword is the Word of God, which I just read up from. This is the most important piece of armor, like I said. And our Bible's uh, the sword, or God Believer's Handbook. This is our uh, only weapon of defense. The world will uh, tempt us and we have to protect our souls and when that happens we need to fight back and trust the truth of God's word. So suit up, sharpen your sword and tie your boots tight and know that this world cannot defeat the one who created us and this world and that is God. This wind's been a problem all day today but uh, that's how I want to, uh, I didn't want to tell y'all to just suck it up and take, uh, take on this world without giving you the know-how. But uh, we appreciate you watching Wildcat Outdoors. And uh, continue to like, subscribe, and smash that bell for us. Like always, y'all have a blessed day. Boom, that's what I'm talking about.